Hello! Welcome back. Where did we leave off last time? I'm trying to actually remember. Well, welcome back to another episode of History Abhors a Paradox. We were last playing as Raziel. Um, doing what? I don't remember. Oh, right, 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 right. He finally made it back to the material realm. Uh, we were exploring the area that he was in and found basically what looked like four temples, each to some different reaver element. Uh, but there were no... Um, areas to actually refuel the reaver with those elements. So, that all said, go ahead and get in there. Alright, folks. Oops. Well, we gotta go spectral. Here. Just another room. All right. I mean, if you're just going to give me a bunch of experience, that's okay, too. Stable Deuce, I will catch up with you in a second here. Let me deal with these fools. So, Unstable Deuce, welcome back. Uh, you were on vacation, I hope you had a good vacation. Uh, mentioning would the existence and formation of the other wraiths be related to the question about how the Elder God tied Razael's hunger to turning uh, the Wheel of Fate? Maybe. Um, that's definitely possible, but that doesn't explain how he did it to Razael, right? That explains, like, oh, obviously the sucking of souls to the Wheel of Fate is not a new phenomenon, but how did he, like, ooh, how did he get it to happen to Raziel, right? Uh, let's see, also a question of, it's interesting how the other beings which possess corpses have no ethereal presence. Yeah, it's almost like they're not coming from the spectral realm and from somewhere else. Which means they're definitely not demons.
Hey, Darkstar Mike, how you doing? At last it was done. The Reaver was forged with darkness. As I felt this new power coursing within the Wraith Blade, I knew that now the Light Temple would open to me. Oof, moving Dark Star Mike, never fun. Kodoran, hey, how you doing? Hey Val. Buddy's here tonight. Hope you're all having a good weekend. I feel like I've missed something. There was a leap bot upstairs. Been, been an unfortunate day. A bunch of friends going through some hard times with technology, but other than that, it's been okay. Yeah, I see you up there. How do I get up there, though? They can't do the leap, the large leap anymore. Um. I mean, we can, we can check them at the Spectral Realm. But I can't do that. Hmm, what am I missing? <laughs> Unstable do saying at some point they'd like an explanation on how the ancient vampires need to build how to build all these temples. Um, well, if you're to guesstimate anything, if we assume that the humans stole the pillars from the ancient vampires, right, then they probably also stole what the pillars grant everybody, meaning that there was very likely an ancient vampire timekeeper, much like Mobius. Chad, am I forgetting something? Are you seeing something that I'm not? Whoa. That was likely a bug. We're just gonna cheat? We're gonna float? That happens while holding a direction and pressing jump and, and soul suck at the same time. Yep.
What are we missing here? How the hell do we get back up there? I would just fucking look it up. I do not. I'm not above it. Mean defiance, dark reaper. serious. Yep, this right here. <sighs> Thank you, Unstable Deuce. I missed that. I, I can't believe I didn't see that. I'm very foolish. did miss something in there, right? Unless that jump point was not meant for Razael, which is possible, because I do know that Trek Kane and Razael spent a lot of this game ending up in the wrong places at the wrong time, but basically swips, uh, swapping back and forth. Hello! We are out, not and Ralph. Um, so Darkstar Mike asking if Razael and Kane handle uh, kind of it differently enough to feel different. Um, so yes, so Kane, um, Kane feels a lot more single target, whereas Razael feels a lot more multi-target. Razael can move in and out a lot faster than Kane can. 
but not tremendously. So if you're used to one, you're used to both for the most part. Um, but it does, they do have a little bit different. Or at least that's how it's always felt to me. I mean, it has been a while since I last played, but... the experience. Let's let's mess him up. how to deal with their magic yet, but also their magic hurts their friends, so... Thank you! Right.
Awesome. Yeah, Coderan, this game is, uh, I'm not gonna say substantially different from the previous one, but it is very much a different style of game than either Soul Reaver 2 or Soul Reaver 1 or Blood Omen. Blood Omen 2, that's such a hard game to define. I honestly feel like Blood Omen 2 reminds me a lot of Tenchu, because it is a much more stealth-focused game in a lot of cases, including Spectrum disguises Reaver. and everything. Uh, but this one feels a lot like a God of War. Uh, like an old-school God of War. With less misogyny. And the villains are slight- or the villains, the protagonists are slightly less assholes. Hmm. Slightly. Robot Spacer! Hey! Uh, this is Legacy of Kane Defiance. It is still on PC. Uh, it is the newest of the three. Coming out, I want to say, right before 2004, because the PC version came out later. Um, which means it's a lot easier to run. I had to do nothing special to get this to run. Which was a nice change of pace. Yep. Against all odds, I had stumbled into Kane's own mausoleum. Oh, wow, I forgot. This seemed an unlikely coincidence. Uh, Unstable Deuce, I would say over the years, Razael himself has become a good guy. Kane, uh, without going to spoilers, like, Kane will get there. Definitely not there yet, but he'll get there. Yeah, Dark Star Mike. I woke to pain of a new ex the dank room darkened. Uh, that is from Blood Omen 1. Which, if you've not seen, you can go to my YouTube channel and see the entire playthrough. Thank you. Why am I not doing this new move? There we go. Yeah, Kane's not even anti-hero at this point. Like, right now, he's basically just enemy of my enemy is my friend. Razael is, is originally was an anti-hero doing the, the right things for the wrong reason, and is now... Slightly more altruistic, but only slightly. Just having a look around. The Reaver did not seem to activate this orb. I had to find the means to enhance the blade further. Interesting.
So that opens that up real quick. Is there anything over here? What about... Alright, just thought I'd check. This, this is very weird. This pillar has a lower refresh rate than the rest of the stuff. Or ro lower frame rate. That was weird. Okay, moving on. the question, how the fuck do I get onto that? Okay, well, that answers that question. Continue on. It's so weird in this game that they make the reaver, the, the wraith blade, shaped as the reaver. It just, it... It makes me wonder if they had to, um... do some budget cuts. And to make it look different than the Soul Reaver 2 Raziel, they took the Soul Reaver Raziel from the very end of Soul Reaver 2. Okay, use TK to shatter what objects? Ah, to shatter that object. Assuming we need an orb. Any secrets around this? Interestingly, I think. I think the music here, maybe a remix of one of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the um, temple themes from Soul Reaver One, or, or one of the Reaver Forge themes from Soul Reaver One. No, not Reaver Forge. The runes? No, what were they called? Sigils? As I was transported to the Vampire Ruin once more. But this chamber was different than the first. In their defeat, the vampire's enemy retaliated with a terrible curse, afflicting the vampires with a bloodthirst that turned their once noble race into ravenous predators. 
This curse plunged the vampires into despair and apparently drove many to madness and self-annihilation. What was it that so devastated them that they were driven to suicide? A good question, Rob. Let's see if we can answer it over the next 10 to 12 hours of game. So what's interesting, like, you can see that's the flame symbol. And in the last area was the, the water symbol. We're definitely not getting the water reaver. Two shift button. Okay. Oh, I should check some of that stuff out. We'll do that before we end the stream today. So yeah, Unstable Deuce. The other question is, how did the ancient vampires... I had succeeded. Well. The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would how did seek they start... out Ariel at the pillars and see if she could enlighten me. So they built these temples for the Reaver. Razael doesn't have the Reaver. So how do they know to make forges for Razael's soul? Right? Dodge more Razael. Do I need... Come here. You get into an area where I can actually fight you. I'm gonna lose this fight. What? 
Okay, that's the way out. Let's keep looking for secrets. Guess not. Continue on. Captions, you're getting worse. I said continue on, not genuine. Ooh, I got hiccups now, that's a problem. Oh, son of a bitch. That is the downside of this game. Uh, because it is a bit more of a God of War, uh, original God of War, the camera angles are fixed, and sometimes they're a problem. So, <laughs> as far as good cameras go, it's kind of only Soul Reaver 2. Um, in the series so far. Need to go back now. Yep, uh, I believe we just need to go back. <laughs> yes, good call out to Stale the Deuce. There's nowhere a record of the vampires building these structures. We'll talk about the relationship of, of the ancient vampires and other races later on, along with who that greenish-grayish race is in the murals. Also, as Razael, that's Razael asked, why would they kill themselves if they just had a blood hunger? I mean, you can survive off of non-sentient blood. select button from Soul Reaver 2 to shift back. That is not the button. Found the gate before. Bitch. Also, it's never explained what the hell these things are. I guess they could be. The spirits of uh, an as of an unnet yet named um, enemy trying to force its way back into the world, but I don't think so. 
Hello, nice Raphael. How you doing? Welcome to Legacy of Kane Defiance. Now I gotta remember where the heck we're going, but I'm pretty sure it's back towards the entrance and then go around the other way. That's an interesting thought on Stable Deuce, uh, saying that they feel that the, the shadowy enemies are always tied to the Reaver itself, like um, either something to do with the magic that the ancient vampires did to in imbue the elemental fonts, or like spirits that the Spectral Reaver consumed over the years that have never fully gone through the wheel. I can see that. Or Apple asking, what is my favorite game? Do you mean favorite Legacy of Cain game or favorite game altogether? Because that latter question I can't answer very well. There's like 10 or so and they shift a lot. Favorite Legacy of Cain game? I pr it's probably either this or Soul Reaver 2. the gate yielded to the powers of light and darkness with which the reaver had been forged the way to the pillars was open mm, that's a good question dark star mike is the wheel of fate bullshit or is it just the elder god talked about a suggestion so yes and no because if you think about it, the Wheel of Fate, the, the reincarnation system, like, people do totally get reincarnated. Like, Raziel is a good example. He's been reincarnated, what, three times? Um, and, and Kane had to pull their souls out of somewhere. Oh, there's a mage. Hold on, let me go deal with the mage. So the big thing to keep in mind is that the Wheel of Fate... Uh, how do I explain this without getting to spoilers? So, the main true immortals were the ancient vampires, right? Other species were not immortal. Um, so there was some essence of that even before the Elder God. The question is, did the Elder God get greedy? DK to aim at our targeted objects.
Huh. Well, if they ever continued the series with Stable Deuce, we definitely would know that there'd be an after the, the Elder God. But it's very possible that that there could have been before the Elder God, because as Razael's seen, as you go further back in time, he is much smaller. How strange to see this place long before my birth. Centuries before the corruption set in that would poison the land and put me on the treacherous path I still followed. In the future, these edifices would be condemned to darkness and decay. I would cause their fall and build my empire upon their ruins. Was it still possible? That with the right knowledge, the right moves, I might one day see Nosgoth restored, the pillars pure once more. My answer, according to Mobius, lay somewhere to the west of this place. I could restore the world, perhaps, but never again could I give Nosgoth back her innocence. Just take a peek around. So, uh, for those that are just joining us, while you would think Razael and Kane would meet up, uh, I don't believe they're currently in the same time frame. There's a lot of time travel in this series. Let's go the other way real quick. Oh yeah, no, they're definitely not in the same time frame. Kane is still in the time frame from the end of uh, Soul Reaver 2, whereas Razael, whoops, Razael got uh, kind of tormented for about 500 years. So they are definitely separated. Yes, Unstable Deuce just mentioned it. Yes. Go back and do that again, but with less dying. Take that, thank you very much. We're gonna go, we're gonna go look at that puzzle back there, because I'm pretty sure I had everything to activate it. At least I think so. Okay. Alright, yeah, both of those are on fire. So what is this? It is a key I don't have. Well, hold on. No, it's neither of those. Okay, it is a key I don't have.
can't block in this, and that is unfortunate. Sacks of crap. <laughs> Why am I not making that jump? Like, this makes it look like I need to plane shift, which I can't do. Ah. That's Razael's path. This is Kane's path. Son of a bitch. Piles of poop. Where are you at, mage?
Problem solved. My path ended here. Offering only this empty vista. Was this another of Mobius's little jokes? Or a puzzle for which I had not yet found the answer? Nope, I know where this goes. You want to be that way? There we go. Powered up Reaver. Stay down there, Archer. I also think Razael might do more damage than Kane. At least to the spirit guys. I mean, it's also possible that they have different difficulty levels for the enemies, depending on who you're playing as. But the Reaver can usually kill them with one hard strike, and it still takes Kane too. So, small differences. Okay, now we can do this. I don't know what that special does. Hey, Victus. That's a new way to say it, at least. Take that. And then you. Let's deal with you. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, it would make sense that Razael was stronger than Kane. Razael has consistently, storyline-wise, beaten Kane in every fight they've ever been in. Kane always has to flee, so. Makes sense.
but and that's a platform you can jump on yes it would be way way weak this because there's not really a V but it's also Nazgoth not Rome or Greece so who knows That's why I need to go that way. Are you serious? Sorry, chat. I, I don't know what happened. Get it? I guess I'm jumping too early. Yeah, I don't. We're going to try one more time. something for Razael. Am I going to just be able to jump over there? That was what's about to happen. Son of a bitch. Well, it is what it is. of the balance emblem. This one endowed with the properties of dimension. Perhaps this would reveal the mystery that lay west of the pillars if Mobius spoke the truth and there was indeed something there to find. Yeah, this, so this is another thing that's interesting, right? These are, again, those aren't Reaver Forges. Those don't open with the physical Reaver. They open with the spirit Reaver. How does that happen, right? I mean, not all of this is... this. None of this is answered in the game. Dimension. You're not gonna explain what that means? All right, Kane. Infernal Sundering.
We might go a little bit longer than usual, folks. Uh, I would... Maybe not an hour longer, but at least... So, we have about an hour from now, still, minimal. But we may go an hour longer than normal, just because... I do want to get through this. I enjoy this a lot, and I feel like I forget some of the combat system. Also, I'm going to mention here, we will not be streaming Wednesday. Um, as part of the... Uh, day off Twitch to kind of make Twitch listen to all the abuse that has been happening via um, raids that are full of hateful people and bots and all this other stuff. Um, in solidarity with that, I will not be streaming this day. And I will ask that if you can, and I'm not saying you have to, but don't spend the day on Twitch. Spend, spend Wednesday doing something else, anywhere else. Play a video game. Oh my god. Get my ass beat. Yep, I, I recognize that game. We're gonna... Nope, that's... that's me. On the wrong side again. Okay. Oh, hey. I didn't remember that's what that did, but all right. Yes, dimension is usually the thing that gives space its spaciness, but not necessarily super speed or the ability to teleport in that manner. But I'll take it. Are oh, there going to be archers up there? Oh.
Son of a bitch. There we go, for the love of God. The mist that shrouded this lake miraculously now cleared away, revealing an ancient citadel. So Mobius had not lied. Or perhaps this was simply another of the time streamer's illusions meant to slow my true endeavor. Back with Razael. Yep. I believe we're going to meet Ariel again. The vampire hunters, brazen as they were, feared to walk these paths. I knew one spirit haunted this place. Perhaps there were others as well. Oh, uh, stricken for water. The third? It is. Oh, hello, Mongol. No, uh, no, he's not actually a Mongol. Uh, what am I thinking of? What's the term? Mongo. to do. Uh, 
That's what I meant to do. Big man, regular size soul. Interesting. Oh good, yeah, let them fight. Not really. They can possess living beings, why can't you? Well, they've technically been doing the whole possession thing a lot longer than Razael has. Also, they're definitely not the same species Razael is. Must be the one that I clipped through the barrier. Ooh, are we actually getting fire? We might be getting fire. I sought to unravel the mystery of my fate, and in this image lay my first clue. For this scene depicted the forging of the Reaver, the weapon destined to become my prison, and I recognized its maker. Mm -hmm. The years had changed him, but this was unmistakably the vampire Vorador, and in this era, he still lived. 
If I could reach him before Mobius's mob hunted him down, he would provide the answers I sought. These images chronicled Vorador's creation. As I already knew, he had not been born a vampire, but had been turned by the infamous Janos Ordrin. But this mural suggested that Vorador's origins were even more significant. Apparently, he was the first human to whom the dark gift had been passed. This was the vampire's desperate bid to preserve their bloodline, for their enemies had cursed them not only with bloodthirst, but with sterility as well. Heck of a thing. Okay, get the fire reversed, maybe. Yeah, I probably need the fire reversed. not yet activated. Perhaps there was some means for me to awaken it. met by the specter of the nature guardian monstrously deformed since its death centuries ago rejoice creature for today your spirit will return to the one hey we got a boss sort of Now the question lies, where is the... up? Oh, thank you for answering me, game. Apparently a single soul was not enough to activate this spirit vessel. 
Perhaps another specter was lurking around here somewhere. Approaching the tomb, I was met by the specter of the Guardian himself. Eternity weighs heavily. I have a solution. I bear it in atonement. But your moment of existence has passed. Come and be released. Uh, who is this one supposed to be? Because he just said the Guardian. What, the Darkness Guardian? Or is it the Balance Guardian? vessel would not respond in the spectral realm. I had to return to the physical world to use it. Why? It's a spirit vessel. Oh well. We don't get our question answered. It is what it is. and conflict guardians it was imbued with the elemental power of fire with which their principles were aligned i was now equipped to reach the pillars Something I'm missing? Nope, can't leave from here. Thank you. 
Yeah. I say we start from this side. Because we can do it from here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I was totally gonna make that. Oh shit. Continue on. Like the one attached to your arm? that son of a bitch Pillars. Once again, I beheld the pillars of Nosgoth, crumbling in decay now, following the corruption of the circle. Here I would find Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian, and the last pure, undefiled member of the Guardian Circle. Bound here upon her death, 
she was doomed to haunt these pillars until her successor fulfilled his terrible duty and balance was restored. What manner of creature approaches? I know you well, Ariel, though you do not yet know me. I have no time for riddles, strange one. All you have is time. I have come to seek your guidance. I counsel only one man, and you are not he. But you will know him soon. The contagion of your kind is coming to an end. My kind? What exactly do you think I am? Your name shall remain unspoken, as decreed by our ancestors. You serve the one who so brutally took my life and set this tragedy in motion. But even now, hope is at work. Balance will be restored, and your kind will be expelled forever. You have pinned your hopes on Cain. He will disappoint you. <sighs> What can you know of Cain? More than you could ever fathom. He will do what he must when the time comes. Poor By Aaron. choosing his own death. A sacrifice for the world. You don't know Cain very well. I know what he is called to do. My faith sustains me. Is it faith or fear? You know that if Cain refuses the sacrifice, you will never leave here. And you begin to suspect. I will not hear your poison, fiend. Grant me the answers I require, and I will leave you to your pathetic delusions. Ask then. I seek the vampire Vorador. To kill him, perhaps, or to join him in death. But for Cain, he is the last of his kind. Mobius's mob has done its work. My reasons are my own. His refuge lies in the heart of the Black Forest. And may you molder there together until the end comes. Well, it's not normal for them to just, you know, appear out of thin air like that. Oh, mage. Alright, let's see what this does. That's him on fire. Not a good day for him.
Okay, what do I need this Answers that question. Papinski, hold on just a second. Let me deal with these losers. so I can actually give you a shout out. Maybe. Come on, Twitch. There we go. How are you doing, sir? How has your streams been? How close am I to a level? Not very close. Oh, so you want to do it like that? I mean, we can do Glam City. about the whole destroying me bit. We are on Defiance, yes. Uh, Glory for 2 went great. Bill, probably my favorite game in the series. Or this one, I'm, I'm unclear. They're all very good. Oh, I don't want to die. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty close to two. Razael has a lot more facial animation, and the claws are different in this one. Also, from an actual playing perspective, it's not a nightmare to get running on a modern computer. I had to do literally nothing. I would love there to be a Soul Reaver remaster, Mr. Popinski. I just don't... Uh, I just don't see it likely um, for the sake of Square Enix doesn't treat um, any of the Eidos groups very kindly, is the most polite way I can put it. Why did I skip Blood Omen 2? Well, first of all, technically Blood Omen 2 doesn't happen until after Defiance. Uh, the events of Blood Omen 2 are not possible until after the final events of Defiance. What am I missing here? Ah. Um, but also, could not get it running on a modern PC. I tried for a good 30 minutes after finishing Soul Reaver 2. Could not get it running. Yeah, it is a shame. I do have it on my GameCube, and I actually just recently got one of those... Um, Prism HD adapter adapters from Retrobit, which lets you um, upconvert GameCube to about 480p. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to do it as part of this series, but I can come back to it at some time if I really want to. Elemental power of air. All right, Chad, we're going to go. Heroes had suffered some damage. Once again, I recognize the vampire's hero, but this scene revealed something new. For here, they had also depicted his destined adversary, now partially obscured, who seemed to bear a flaming sword. So, um, Blood Omen 2 is fine. It's not a great Legacy of Cain game, because it wasn't originally meant to be a Legacy of Cain game, but I do think it is a decent game. I actually... It reminds me a lot of Tenchu. Um, and I've said that a few times today. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot today. It reminds me a lot of Tenchu. I think it has interesting stealth mechanics. I think some of the characterizations are interesting. It's a slightly different take on Kane. He's not quite full of himself yet from like the Soul Reaper timeline, um, but he is still pompous from the Blood Omen timeline. Um, you meet other vampires. It's an interesting game. Uh, not as much, but there is still some, yes. Fire Reaver definitely stronger, or at least on these guys. One hit kills. Yes. In winning 
what we thought mattered. We lost what truly mattered. But for you, there is a chance. What chance is that? The bliss of death. I offer it. But I do not accept. That's the fake. That's the fake. I win. Fine, you want it to be that way? The only one that's open? Yes, it is. Anyone seeing a shift? Okay, we're going to finish this temple up, and then we're going to see some of the extra content we've unlocked, and then we'll call it. Go a little bit longer than before. Where were you at? Where were you at? Here you are. What? Not what I meant to do. Am I thinking about this wrong? It is the Fire Reaver, isn't it? Am I missing something? I don't think so. This door I need to open. Well, we can go back up. Guess let's go back up. Seems all. I'm gonna sneeze. Mm. Sneeze completed. Yeah, what am I missing here? Yeah. 
We went in there. Can't go in there. Time to look it up. It is in the same room, apparently. a shout out if you have not seen waking oni streams they are uh, he is a awesome game dev does a lot of really cool um stealth streams uh, but also like um oh, what is it called immersive sim um and i've been having a really fun time watching those also working on i think you're still working on onsen master i know your your career stuff has changed recently but i didn't think that would have changed right um, also a professor of video games. So, Professor Oni. I'm doing good. Hope to see you stream again soon. Hope you're doing well. I know you've been busy. We are on the final released Legacy of Kane game. Although not the final game in the timeline, technically. way back. Ah, this is what we want. So, Oni, if you haven't seen this one, unlike uh, the first two Soul Reaper games, well, Legacy of Kane, let me think. First two Legacy of Kane games, Blood Omen and Soul Reaver, which were both different types of Zeldas. Uh, Blood Omen being a Ocarina of, you know, a uh, Link to the Past style Zelda, and uh, Soul Reaver being an Ocarina of Time style Zelda. I don't know. There's supposed to be a way to block those, and I don't seem to be doing very well about it. Um. Soul Reaver 2 was more of an outright adventure game, well, action adventure game, Oop. Um, where this game is much more uh, set up like God of War, the old one. Come on. Oh, one more hit. There we go. Ooh. I'm excited for Onsen Master to be wrapping up. That is very exciting for me. How do I get out of here? I can't climb the Spectral Realm. 
Um, unless they've changed it. They have changed it. Whoops. But yeah, like, the fixed camera is new for this game. Um... But yeah, Oni, thanks for stopping in. This is always fun. I am uh, very excited. I've got two things that are coming up next. One which I'll just talk about right now. Um, in theory, the next, assuming I don't run into issues with my capture card, I'm dealing with a new PC. The next game that I'll be playing after this one will be Judgment. Um, I have been playing the Yakuza games, well, I have played the Yakuza games going back to the original on the PlayStation 2, which I may still have somewhere. The one voiced by Mark Hamill and a bunch of other people. Um, I dropped off after the original Yakuza 2. I played a little bit of, of 3 and 5. Um, but then I, I didn't come back until 0 came out. I played a bunch of that. Um, and then I came back with Yakuza Lad. Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yakuza 7 is basically all the different titles for it. Which I love. Um, tied with Final Fantasy VII Remake is my favorite RPG release that year. Um, so good. Fantastic game. Um, there you go. So, I've not played Judgment. Um, Pixelated Vika has constantly recommended that I play Judgment. Kia Purdy, my <laughs> wife, partner, and happiness generator, has also wanted me to play Judgment. So, my next game will be Judgment. Um, 100%. Now, if I finish that in time, the main reason I want to play it is because Judgment 2 is coming out. Uh, I will not be streaming Judgment 2. A little bit too new. Because um, I theoretically will be finishing Judgment right when 2 is coming out. In theory. After Judgment, I'm pretty sure my next series of games is going to be Metroid. Uh, because I think, if my remembering the dates are correct, I can finish all of the Metroid main games, meaning Metroid, Famous Returns, the, I guess we're playing M2R Remake, or M2 Remake, uh, Super Metroid, and Metroid Fusion, I'm pretty sure I can finish those before Dread comes out. Uh, those of you that know me know that I love Metroidvanias, and that started with a love for both Castlevania and Metroid. So, expect to see more of that. All right, we got something over there. Get some over here. I even made sure that I could get um, all of the. I have a uh, zero mission, and I have um, fusion. I have actual Game Boy cartridges for them, so I made sure that my GameCube's Game Boy player works still. It does. It works great. Um, I bought a HDMI adapter for my GameCube, and I'll be able to play off of that. The only downside being that the GameCube controller is only slightly better than the N64 controller. By which I mean it's bad. When there's not a lot of good options, go back to the GameCube with a different controller. So, we'll see how that goes.
now. How do I get to that other room? I need to open that up. Should be a way to open this door, shouldn't there? Get to the next shift between Razael and Kane, and then we'll call it. Well, we'll call, we'll go back and check out some of the special features, and then we'll call it. Flipping! Not supposed to see this angle. Oop. Oh, well, you want to jump in the water, that's fine too. close am I to a level? Do I even care? I do not care. Unless there's a barrier here, I don't have to deal with you. There's a barrier. Well, as it is... That's not supposed to happen. I got pushed through the world. Oh, good. Fantastic. <laughs> Nobody saw that happen. Never happened. Don't tell Crystal Dan.
Come on. I was never here. Son of a bitch. Okay. No barriers, no barriers, no barriers, no barriers. Oh, he threw his hammer at me. Kane's never been here. Long abandoned since their extinction. Razael was in too. Perhaps it still held the wisdom of its creators. Here, Mobius said I would find proof that Raziel was not what I thought he was or hoped he would be. But in sending me here, Mobius had done me an unexpected or perhaps an unwitting service. For it was my destiny, not Raziel's. My role as scion of balance, whose secrets I was here to discover. All right. Where are we at? Chapter 7 out of what? I said there are 12? 13. 13 chapters. Eh, we're not doing bad. All right, we're going to go check out some of the special features, and then we will call it. concept art the original map the pain the butt to navigate by gamepad hmm <laughs> yep that's totally Kane unfortunately we haven't unlocked the making of I'm going to do everything in my power to have that uh, before we finish that's a very different hair for Razael I've seen that sketch numerous times. I don't remember how. I think it might have been touched up to make official art. Raziel with larger hips than he usually has. Intro Raziel. Hell yeah, I have that as a background. I want that on a shirt today. All right, we'll call it there, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, as a reminder, this coming Wednesday I will not be streaming in solidarity with the sign-off of Twitch efforts. Um, 
the bunch of nasty shit that's been going on. People are doofuses and, and outright bastards for trying to harm people that mean no harm to them. So, um, if you can, I'm not saying that you must, but if you can, please stay off of Twitch on Wednesday. Um, not just for my stream, but for any stream. Um, hopefully it will show to Twitch that the creators matter and they work harder on options around these bot attacks and hate raids. So, that said, if you're watching live, stick around, we'll visit someone rad. If you're watching an archive, please feel free to watch something else out on my channel, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. Thank you so much, have a good week, be safe, and be kind to one another. Bye-bye!